Precious, little bear, little sick head. All right, let's do this, everyone. Let's do this. Getting the run in, calling an audible. I was gonna run far today, but Michael has a fever. Uh, Seth just slammed his finger in the door. Uh, it's been, we almost had to go to urgent care. It's been a wild, crazy day at the Demore household. So I'm flip-flopping. So that's what I mean by calling an audible. I'm flip-flopping my training days. I'm gonna go shorter today, longer tomorrow. Take these shoes out, get you my thoughts soon. And yes, I'm gonna answer a question from um, a spouse of an ultra runner who emailed me and is basically just curious to hear the thoughts of true love on that family running balance and the sacrifices that we have to make um, not only as long distance runners and athletes but also the families uh, let's just be you know call a spade a spade there are some sacrifices that have to be made and um, I'll explain a little bit more as to what how that plays out in our household here in a little bit but I'm gonna lace up in the well let's just do it right now and by the way putting on my my sun tube sun tube buff because I'm I'm wearing my Sun 2 Sun 2 watch today and here we go. All right. Next shoe testing out for you. Uh, one, two, three. Hoka Speed Goat 4. The normal Speed Goats, not the EVO Speed Goats. Uh, the Hoka Speed Goat 4 is but the only the only issue is that I'm not running on trails today. I'm running on ice and snow and I just I've been sitting on these shoes for about a week now and I just don't know when I'm going to get up to the trails again because we got a big you know, 12 to 18 inch snowstorm. So here we go, Hoka, Speed Goat Fours. Let's do this. goodness here we are what a day what a, what a crazy day it's been a crazy day. i told them a little bit about <laughs> the morning little guy oh, yeah. told him about the morning with the finger and He's so like 12 seconds up and everybody's screaming bloods everywhere <laughs> but we're like it was not good job for the morning <laughs> Ur urgent urgent care is on oh. on speed dial just in case so everyone basically i had a game plan for the vlog Got a little crazy, and that's okay. Remember, I think I mentioned it earlier. Flexibility oh, yeah. is key. That's huge. As a runner, as, as, a human. as a human, as a mama and a papa, you yeah. just got to be flexible all the time. <laughs> and I'm going to hop out in the studio and just share a little bit about my experience with um, little sacrifices that need mm -hmm. to be made in order to reach goals as a runner. But in addition, you know, um, out there, mamas mm -hmm. and spouses, mm -hmm. uh, if you are married, or you know, or maybe you're raising a committed runner, maybe you're, you're a mama or a papa that's raising uh, a runner in high school, you know there's some sacrifices along the way. Yeah. So what are some sacrifices oh. that you maybe okay. have That's a good question. thought of? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, the couple that came to come to mind right away are when he has to travel. Yeah. Well, here's the thing too about us, we are homebodies. We love being home. We love being home. We had a great privilege of, I feel like, before we met each other, tra traveling the world and seeing everything. But when he travels, of course, you're, you're a man down and a, a very helpful man down. So that is um, definitely a sacrifice, but for sure worth it. And, and we, I have lots of little hacks that I do that make it easier for me and we just lower the bar and have things like cereal and, and sandwiches for dinner. Paper plates. Paper plates are key and obviously he does a great job of like going as minimally as possible so not having any kind of buffer days which I appreciate that's really nice. Yeah yeah yeah. And then um. And then I am eating. Yes that a, was the other thing. A little healthier these days mm. more so than a year ago. It's been, okay, so it's a sacrifice for me in that I'm having to shift how I meal plan and what I buy and rearrange the budget a little bit, but it's good. I mean, it's like a good thing that we all start eating healthier. You are definitely leading us in that. Yeah. But, um, and then chopping, kind of just working in new systems and, sh and sh making the new routine um, fit and work. Yeah. And so, I mean, I, I don't know if I call that a sacrifice so much as life, 
yeah, yeah. But yeah. but yeah, okay, that's been a, a, a place where it's I need a to be shift, flexible. Yeah. A shift in the in the grocery oh, bill. That's another thing too of like. We, he'll plan out when he'll do his runs or his long runs, and like something could come up, like weather will hit or something. So then, yeah. instead of him going out right then, and, you know, and we had planned to go do something, then we shift because now that's our time to be together as a family, and then he'll run later. And so, honestly, it's that word flexibility. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a matter of. Yeah. And so you're probably wondering, what about the two-hour, three-hour, four-hour, five-hour long runs in the mountains? Sometimes, mm-hmm. it's that's time away, but. I don't think I've ever filmed on the vlog, maybe once, where I'm out at a bar watching a Broncos mm-hmm. game. I would love to go watch yeah. a Broncos game. I love the Broncos at a bar, mm-hmm. but it's like you just don't, it's like you have to make your priorities. So I prioritize the long runs, but I'm not out, you know, riding dirt bikes all weekend. Right. <laughs> so. No, that's true. You don't ever, I was just had brunch with my best friends this morning and he stayed home with the kids. And, um, we, I was just saying, like, you never once think or or say, like, what about me or what about my do- t- downtime or rest off. Yeah. That it's true. You do utilize what would be, quote, unquote, like the social fun moments. Like, I, I'm not trying to brag. It's just yeah. you just have to do it if you want to reach your goals with respect to there's only 24 hours in a day and you got to get the training in. Yeah. And you know me, building the aerobic engine, I'm a big believer in those long runs. And there, that's time away from this – uh, bungalow, this perfect house, we love it here. which means we have to, uh, which means I have to not go do fun, you know, yeah. fun stuff all the time. Grab a beer with your pals. Yeah. Which I, you don't drink beer anymore anyway, but yeah. that is true. That's another sacrifice. Though I had a beer today. <laughs> yeah. Well, happy Thanksgiving, America. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. So those are just a few little reflections. All right. Out to the studio, little sharks. You want to get on camera we one more time? We got a couple sharks. Come by Papa's head. Come, so yeah, come right. Too Steph, close. Too close. Steffi, Steffi. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What to say about this topic of sacrificing as long distance runners? Uh, real quick, we'll mention eight miles in the Speed Goat Fours. I'll get you my first impression next week once I take them out on the trails. I didn't even hit dirt today, really. It was basically all pavement, ice, and snow. But I'm actually going to replace this speed goat for with another shoe a shoe that i will keep i hope for the rest of my life because it's a reminder for me of what it takes to chase down our dreams this is the hoka clayton uh, a shoe from hoka that i don't believe yeah i don't believe they even make it anymore so i'll just put that right there there's a story behind it i'll share that in a minute and as I was thinking about, um, even just listening to True Love Inside there, um, as runners, long distance runners, it's different. The pain is different than football, than hockey, than soccer, than you know a lot of other sports. Running is a pain and a sacrifice that is more sustained. It's like running, it's like the, 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 <laughs> the marathon of life. Life is a marathon, right? And in running, whether we're doing a three hour long run in you know nasty wind and, and blowing snow, or whether we're doing a track workout and the, the track has ice on it, I guess I'm thinking along the terms of winter, or maybe you're in the Southern hemisphere and it's blazing hot out with 95% humidity. It's, uh, it's a different type of pain that we experience as runners. So as, as long distance runners, we sacrifice our sleep. Gotta get that run in, right? You gotta get it in sometimes before you gotta go catch the subway to get to work or to get the kids off to school or you gotta get it in, you're waking up 15 minutes early so you can get home and get that foam rolling and stretching in before taking a quick shower, grabbing a bowl of oatmeal and hopping in the car to, you know, I don't know, go catch an airplane. Whatever the case may be, we sacrifice our sleep. Um, As I mentioned inside, I do and I don't love it and I'd love to continue to, to to talk about this with all of you, but yes, I do sacrifice some of my former uh, social engagements, okay? Or that's not a great way to say it, but just hanging out with friends, you know, it's hard. And I, I want that back at some point, but I realize right now as I'm chasing down dreams in running, and yes, on YouTube, I know that I have to hit pause a little bit so that I can just survive and find enough hours in the day to sleep, to edit, to do the running shoe reviews for all of you. So here's the deal, everyone. 
I'm just saying, uh, and I'm not trying to brag here, but for those that don't know, <sighs> it's been hard. It's been very hard to get to this point. And we're almost, I can't believe it, we are there. We are knocking on the 50,000 subscriber door. But um, I've been uploading. So here's the deal, everyone. I love running and I love video production. And I love telling stories and I love communicating with all of you. So three and a half years, almost actually getting close to four years ago in April 2020, I will have been uploading a daily video to YouTube every day. No days off. And I made that commitment for a lot of different reasons. But one of them, I knew that if I wanted to reach people, I needed to be reliable. And I, I would need to be consistent in talking to you. And thank you for listening on a daily basis. I know, I know you can't watch every single day. I get it. You're busy. But I know many of you do watch so, so consistently. And my family, for those that have been watching a long time, you know my family has not always had the greatest financial situation. Um, it's been hard. You know, raising three kids, a mortgage in Denver, Colorado. Like, Denver is a pretty hot, hot real estate market. But, 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 we have pinched pennies. True Love and I. Very tight budget for years and years. And I bought, if you got, I hope there's people out there watching who saw this vlog, I think two and a half years ago now, when I got on Craigslist. And I was, I was a runner. I was running at pretty high volume. I think about 70 miles a week. I could not afford. Okay, everybody? This is where you've got a dream. I could not afford, two and a half years ago, new running shoes. Two and a half stinking years ago. I had to go on Craigslist and buy shoes for $20. And it's like, it gets me emotional because it was, I was, it was hard. And... True Love and I were like, we were, we were, we were juggling. We were trying to figure out, okay, it's like, we, we got to pay the electric bill. We got to go buy groceries. And I still wanted to be a runner. And so sure enough, a gentleman was selling, and these aren't even my size. These are size eight. You all know I'm a seven and a half. So they didn't even really fit me. But I was like, okay, 20 bucks, Craigslist. I got to buy them because I can't, I, this is all I can afford. And now, <laughs> and now, and now it's like, what the, what the heck is going on? You know, <sighs> sorry, <laughs> it just gets me going. <sighs> I'm back. I'm just trying to share with you that this, 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 from this to this, it just doesn't happen. It takes sacrifice. You know what else it takes sacri sacrifice? 219. 219 takes sacrifice. I've already tried twice. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I've got to dig a little deeper, everybody. Got to dig a little deeper. Get that 219. You better believe it. So we are on a journey together. Thank you for, um, for being, just for being here. But I hope that as a long distance runner, you are embracing and accepting the gift of sacrifice. Because if you open up to that sacrifice, you will receive it and it, is, it, it will set you up. And I know I'm kind of getting philosophical here, but if you embrace and accept that sacrifice into your life as long distance runners, the pain, the early mornings, the foam rolling when it hurts, the eating healthy shakes or whatever, however you eat health, whatever the case may be, it is a gift and it will set you up for success that goes far, far beyond anything you could imagine. Far beyond. Question of the day. How does long distance running teach you about sacrifice? Another way to think about it, have you been able to embrace sacrifice as a long distance runner? So I don't know where that came from. I just got going there because you guys get me going and you're here watching. I love you as always and onward and upward. All right. 
There you go, tossing it back. I'll try and find on the right hand side the Hoka Clayton blog where I bought this shoe for 20 bucks off Craigslist, or maybe it was Facebook Marketplace. It was somewhere online. And on the left, we'll toss it back to um, the 10,000 subscriber vlog from last spring. All right, everyone. Ooh, say beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.